Bore da a chloesoi for all weddi, ar fore a dithiau Corpus Christi. Good morning and welcome to morning prayer on Thursday morning, which is Corpus Christi um, in the church calendar. Now, I know you're probably expecting Aerith to be here. Well, unfortunately, Aerith is unable to be with us this morning, but we are thinking of her and hopefully she will be back with us next week. So in the meantime, I'm afraid you've got me. So I hope you'll enjoy worshipping with me this morning. I'd just like to tell you a little bit about the festival of Corpus Christi. I'm going to read this from the Oxford Dictionary of the Christian Church. The Feast of Corpus Christi, commemorating the institution and gift of the Holy Eucharist, is observed in the Western Church on the Thursday after Trinity Sunday. The natural day in the Christian calendar for this commemoration would be Maundy Thursday, on which the Eucharist was initiated. But the memory of the Passion on that day made a separate day for the Eucharist desirable and the Thursday after Trinity Sunday was chosen as the first three Thursday after Eastertide. The institution of the feast was largely due to the influence of Blessed Juliana, who died in 1258, a devout nun of Liège, who was led to take action in the matter in response to a vision. In 1264, its observance was commanded by Urban IV, the Pope, and in the 14th century, the keeping of the feast became universal in the Western Church. The services of the day have traditionally been attributed to St Thomas Aquinas, but recent scholarship has thrown doubt on the authenticity of the material on which this is based. So we join with other churches in the Western Church to celebrate Corpus Christi, the feast of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, when we give thanks for the institution of the Holy Communion. And our readings and prayers today reflect this. If you're following in daily prayer, we begin on pages 25 and then 27 in English, or in Welsh, 24 and 26. Or you can follow, of course, on our order of service. This is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Argloedd agor ein gwefusai, an genau y fynegr dyfoliant. Gogonian tir tad, akir mab, akir aspid glan. Velaroi than a dechrai a mai an hour, akir be than wastad, an oi soi soi. Amen. We take a moment to reflect on the day ahead. Early in the morning, my prayer comes before you. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. A roit yn llefari yn fy'n halon ac yn dweud ceisiaf y wyneb. Am hynny ceisiaf dy wyneb o arglwydd. Crist tri garha. Crist tri garha. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our psalm today is Psalm 147, which is found on daily prayer, in daily prayer, page 643 and 645 in English, and I'm going to read it in English. 
Alleluia. How good it is to make music for our God. How joyful to honour him with praise. The Lord builds up Jerusalem and gathers together the outcasts of Israel. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up all their wounds. He counts the number of the stars and calls them all by their names. Great is our Lord and mighty in power. His wisdom is beyond all telling. The Lord lifts up the poor, but casts down the wicked to the ground. Sing to the Lord with thanksgiving. Make music to our God upon the lyre, who covers the heavens with clouds and prepares rain for the earth, who makes grass to grow upon the mountains and green plants to serve our needs. He gives the beasts their food and the young ravens when they cry. He takes no pleasure in the power of a horse, no delight in human strength. But the Lord delights in those who fear him, who put their trust in his steadfast love. Sing praise to the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion. For he has strengthened the bars of your gates and has blessed your children within you. He has established peace in your borders and satisfies you with the finest wheat. He sends forth his command to the earth and his word runs very swiftly. He gives snow like wool and scatters the hoarfrost like ashes. He casts down his hailstones like morsels of bread. Who can endure his frost? He sends forth his word and melts them. He blows with his wind and the waters flow. He declares his word to Jacob, his statutes and judgments to Israel. He has not dealt so with any other nation. They do not know his laws. Alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Our Old Testament reading today comes from the book Deuteronomy, chapter 8, verses 2 to 16. I'm going to read the reading in English. Remember the long way that the Lord your God has led you these 40 years in the wilderness in order to humble you, testing you to know what was in your heart whether or not you would keep his commandments. He humbled you by letting you hunger, then by feeding you with manna, which neither you nor your ancestors were acquainted, in order to make you understand that one does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of the Lord. The clothes on your back did not wear out, and your feet did not swell these forty years. Know then in your heart that as a parent disciplines a child, so the Lord your God disciplines you. Therefore keep the commandments of the Lord your God by walking in his ways and by fearing him. For the Lord your God is bringing you into a good land a land with flowing streams, with springs and underground waters welling up in valleys and hills, a land of wheat and barley, of vines and fig trees and pomegranates, a land of olive trees and honey, 
a land where you may eat bread without scarcity, where you will lack nothing, a land whose stones are iron and from whose hills you may mine copper. You shall eat your fill and bless the Lord your God for the good land that he has given you. Take care that you do not forget the Lord your God by failing to keep his commandments, his ordinances and his statutes, which I am commanding you today. When you have eaten your fill and have built fine houses and live in them, and when your herds and flocks have multiplied and your silver and gold is multiplied and all that you have is multiplied, then do not exalt yourself, forgetting the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery, who led you through the great and terrible wilderness, an arid wasteland with poisonous snakes and scorpions. He made the water flow for you from flint rock and fed you in the wilderness with manna that your ancestors did not know, to humble you and to test you, and in the end, to do you good. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And so we take a moment to think about that reading. An hour in in dweud gydengilydd, a canticle or evangel, a benedictus. We say together the gospel canticle, the benedictus, in daily prayer on page 29 in English, 28 in Welsh. And I'm going to read it in Welsh. Bendigedig, for the argloid thiw Israel, a myddo am weld a bobl a prynu rydyd. Cododd waredigaeth gadarn i ni, yn hi Dafydd ei was. Fel y llefarodd trwy enau ei byffwydu sanctaidd yn yr oesoedd a fi, gwaredigaeth rhag ein gylynion, ac o afael pawb sydd yn ein casau. Fel hyn y cymerodd trwy garedd ar ein hynafiaid, a chofio ei gyfamod sanctaidd. Y llw a dyngodd wrth Abraham ein tad, a roddai i ni gael ein hachub o afael gylynion, a'i addoli yn ddiofn mewn sancteidrwydd a chyfiawnder, ger ei fron ef, holl ddyddiau ein bywyd. A thithau fy mhlentyn, gelwyr di yn broffwyd y gor eichaf, Oherwydd bydd un cerdded o flaen yr orglwydd i baratoi ei lwybrau. I roi yw bobl wybodaeth am waredigaeth, trwy fyddeant eu pechodau. Hyn yw tri garedd calon ein tiw, fe ddaw ar wawr ddydd o ddychod un plyd, i lywychu ar y rhai sy'n eistedd yn hywyllwch cysgod angau a chyfeirio ein traed i ffordd tangnefedd. Gogoniant i'r tad ac i'r mab ac i'r ysbryd glân. Fel yr oedd yn y dechrau, y mae yn awr ac y bydd yn wastad, yn oes oes oedd. Amen. Darlleniad o'r testament newydd o lythu'r cyntaf Paul at y Corinthiaid, pennod deg, adnod un i 17. 
Our New Testament reading comes from St. Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 10, verses 1 to 17. And I'm going to read the reading in Welsh. Do we am i chi gofio vrodir a chwiorydd, bod ein hynafiaid ni i gyd wedi bod dan y cwmwl, ac roedd pob un ohonyn nhw wedi mynd drwy'r môr. Cafodd pob un ohonyn nhw ei bydyddio fel dylanwyr Moses yn y cwmwl a'r môr. Cafodd pob un ohonyn nhw fwyta yr un bwyd ysbrydol ac yfed yr un dŵr ysbrydol. Roedd yn nhw'n yfed o'r graig ysbrydol oedd yn teithio gyda nhw a'r mesaia oedd y graig honno. Ond er gweithio hyn i gyd, wnaeth y rhan fwyaf honni nhw ddim plesio diw, bi o'n nhw farw yn yr anialwch. Digwyddodd y pethau hyn i gyd fel esiamplau i'n rhybuddio ni rhag bod eisiau gwneud drwg fel y gwnaeth o'n nhw. Maen nhw'n rhybudd i ni beidio a ddoli eilun ddiwiau fel y gwnaeth rhai ohonyn nhw. Yr ysgrifau sanctaidd sy'n dweud, eisteddodd y bobl i lawr i wledda ac yfed, a chodi i amgolli mewn rhiawtwch paganaidd. Maen nhw'n rhybudd i ni beidio bod yn anfoesol yn rhywiol fel rhai ohonyn nhw. Gyda'r canlyniad fod 23 o filoedd ohonyn nhw wedi marw mewn un diwrnod. Maen nhw'n rhybudd i ni beidio rhoi yr arglwydd ar brawf fel y gwnaeth rhai ohonyn nhw a chael eu lladd gan nadroedd. Ac maen nhw'n rhybudd i ni beidio cwyno fel rhai ohonyn nhw ac angel dinistriol yn dod ac yn ei lladd nhw. Digwyddodd y cwbl un ar ôl y llall fel y siamplau i ni. Cawson nhw eu hysgrifennu i lawr i'n rhybuddio ni sy'n byw ar ddiwedd yr oesoedd. Felly, os dych chi yn un o'r rhai sy'n meddwl eich bod yn sefyll yn gadarn, gwyliwch rhag i chi syrthio. Dydy'r temtasiynau dych chi'n ei wynebu ddim gwahanol i neb arall, ond mae diw yn ffyddlon. Fydd e ddim yn gadael eu temtasiwn fod yn ormod i chwi. Yn wir, pan gewch chi eich temtio, fydd yn dangos ffordd i chi ddianc a ffeidio rhoi mewn. Felly, ffrindiau anwyl, ffwch oddi wrth a ddoli eilun ddiwiau. Defnyddiwch eich synwyr cyffredin. Myddyliwch am beth dwi i'n ddweud. Ond nid ydy'r cwpan o win dyn ni'n diolch amdano yn y cymun yn arwydd ein bod ni gyda'n gilydd yn rhannu arwyddo cad gwaed y mesaia. Ac ond nid ydy'r dorth o fara dyn ni'n ei thori yn arwydd ein bod ni gyda'n gilydd yn rhannu yng nghorff y mesaia. Un dorth sydd, felly dyn ni'n sy'n grŵp o unigolion yn dod yn un corff wrth rhannu o'r dorth. Dyma aer yr orglwydd, diolch a fo i ddiw. Gydewch i ni gymryd tipyn o amser i feddwl am y darlluniad, let us... Take a little time to think about the reading.
We say together Canticle number six, the Jubilate Deo, Psalm 100, page 147 in daily prayer in English, or 146 in Welsh. And I'm going to say it in English. O oh, be joyful in the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Know that the Lord is God. It is he that has made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. For the Lord is gracious. His steadfast love is everlasting and his faithfulness endures from generation to generation. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Gwethiwn, let us pray. We give thanks today for the sacrament of the Holy Eucharist and for the spiritual sustenance and comfort we receive when we gather together around the Lord's table to receive his body and his blood. Although at the moment we are unable to join together to receive this holy food, we pray that you would continue to sustain us spiritually each day that we may receive the benefits of our Saviour's sacrifice and share in his risen life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In the diocesan intercessions for today, we pray for scientists, especially epidemiologists engaged in medical research. We particularly pray for those working on producing a vaccine and treatments for the coronavirus. In the Anglican cycle of prayer, we pray for the Diocese of Nuala in Tanzania, the Diocese of Andaman and Car Nicobar Islands in North India, and the Diocese of Angola in the province of Southern Africa. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the Church in Wales, for Archbishop John and all the bishops within the province, especially Bishop Joanna and all the clergy and staff of the Diocese of St David's. We pray for wisdom in deciding the way forward at this difficult time and ask for your guidance as the issues surrounding reopening the churches for services are discussed. We pray for those preparing for ordination, particularly for Carol as she prepares to be ordained priest, and Lorna as she prepares to be ordained deacon and looks forward to joining us as curate. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. What a theog thew, a my dust spread glan and can escape thee a reglois, a gambruiaith cavoithog or thoniae. Can ye ta in ye athi e debnadio e thuin testiolaith e greased, toi voidae wedi e hadiladi ar feed a chariad. Gwnaan i yn baro di fyw e efengil, ac yn eiddgar i wneud e ewyllus, fel y gallwn rhannu gyda'th holl eglwys yn llawenu dy bywyd tragwyddol. A'r glwydd yn dydri garedd, gwrando ein gweddi. We pray for our local ministry area of Bro Sanclair, 
for the clergy and ministry team, for the LMA Council and its officers, the LMA wardens and the wardens and committees of the individual churches. We pray for the communities in which we live, for our families, friends and neighbours. We pray for the residents and staff of the nursing and residential homes within the LMA. We particularly remember those who are feeling lonely and isolated and those whose families are unable to visit them at this time. We pray that they may be aware of your love and care surrounding them each day. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Bless and guide Elizabeth, our Queen. Give wisdom to all in authority in Westminster and in Cardiff, particularly as they make decisions regarding gradually relaxing the lockdown restrictions. We pray for our local council and all involved in keeping essential services running for us. We pray for governments in areas of the world where the coronavirus is spreading and pray for a greater cooperation between the nations in the mission to halt the spread of the virus. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving Lord, we pray for all who are suffering from the coronavirus throughout the world. We pray for all those who have lost a loved one through the illness. Give wisdom to policy makers, skill to the researchers and scientists, and comfort to everyone in distress. Bring a sense of calm to us in this time of uncertainty as we wait for the way ahead to be revealed. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for troubled areas of the world where people live with the threat of violence on a daily basis. We pray for justice and peace in our world and that unjust structures and systems may be challenged in a constructive way, bringing about a change in attitude and much needed reform. We pray that people everywhere may be treated with dignity and respect, regardless of their race, language, gender, sexuality or religion. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Arglwydd gwnaan i yn gyfryngau i thedd. Lle mae casineb? Pai ni hai cariad. Lle am I new ed, but ed mathiant. Lle am I anghitwod, indeb. Lle am I amheaith, fydd. Lle am I anobaith, gobaith. Lle am I tywyllwch, goleini. Lle am I tristwch, llawenydd. Er mwyn dy drigaredd a thwirionedd. Ar glwydd yn dy drigaredd, grandw ein gweddi. We pray for those who are ill at home or in hospital, and particularly for those who have asked for our prayers today. Amongst them we remember Tommy and Rosemary, Elvin, Tammy and family, Jean and Bert, Catherine and Liz John. In a moment of silence, let us remember others known to us and bring them before God.
Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We commend to God's keeping all those who have died and those whose year's mind occurs at this time. Amongst the faithful departed, we remember and give thanks for the lives of Kerry Davis, Bruce Sutherland, Howard Thomas, and Theresa McWilliam. And we pray for their families and all who mourn their loss. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Nevol Dard, an o'r ti yr ydym yn byw yn symud ac yn bod. Tywy sni a thysbryd glân, fel nad anghofion di yn holl o falwn a galwedigaethau ein bywyd, ond cofio ein bod bob amser yn cerdded yn dolwg. Ar glwydd yn dydwy garo, grand o ein gweddi. Gydewch chi'n i ddweud gweddi'r orglwydd gyda'n gilydd, let us say the Lord's Prayer together, in whichever language you prefer. Ein tad, yr hwn wyt yn y nefoedd, sangteiddio dy enw, deled dy dernas, gwneled y wallus, megis yn y nef, felly ar y ddair hefyd. Dylw i ni heddiw ein bara beinyddiol, a madda i ni ein dyledion, byl y myddeu'n dynnau i'n dyledwyr. Ac nac arwain ni i brobedigaeth, eith yr gwared ni rhag drwg. Can i seiddo ti o'r defnas, a'r gallu, a'r gogoniant, yn oes oes oedd. Amen. the collect for Corpus Christi, the thanksgiving for the Holy Communion. Jesus, Saviour of the world, we thank you that in this wonderful sacrament, you have left us a memorial of your passion. Grant us so to reverence the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, that we may know within ourselves the fruit of your redeeming love who live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A collect am dangnever, the collect for peace. O ddiw awdir tangnever the charwr cytundeb, a mae dad nabod di yn fywyd pragwyddol, a thwasyn eithi yn rhyddid perffaith, Am ddiff i ni rhag holl ymysodiadau ein gelynion, fel a nidnau'n llwyr am ddiried yn dynodded, nad ofn nhw'n allu neb o'n gwrthwynebwyr, trwy Iesu Grist ein horglwydd. Amen. The Collect for Grace O Lord and Heavenly Father, Almighty and Everlasting God, we thank you for bringing us safely to the beginning of this new day. Defend us by your mighty power, that we may be kept free from all sin and safe from every danger, and enable us in everything to do only what is right in your eyes, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We gather our prayers together by saying the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Thank you very much for joining me this morning. One or two things to announce. Just a reminder that on Sunday morning at nine o'clock, Reverend Adam Bruce will be broadcasting a live service here on the 
LMA Facebook page of Morning Prayer. And Archdeacon Dorian will be broadcasting his live service on the St. Mary Magdalene St. Clair's Facebook page at 10 a.m. on Sunday. Father Chris in Larne will be broadcasting a live Eucharist at 12 noon on Sunday via Zoom. And he also has morning prayer via Zoom Monday to Friday at 10, a regular coffee afternoon on Wednesdays at 2, and a quiz on Thursday evenings at 7. And if anybody would like to take part in any of these Zoom events, you will need to contact Father Chris. You can leave a message here on our Facebook page and we will pass the message on. I will be back here on Tuesday with my weekly message at 11 o'clock. And Reverend Adam and myself are planning to hold a quiet afternoon on Tuesday the 30th of June from 2 until 5 using the Facebook page. And there will be talks and there will be services and there will be time for you to pray in between. So do please make a note of the date and hopefully you will be able to be with us for that. And finally, one more announcement about Theology for Life. If you've been watching the posts on the Facebook page, you may have noticed that I posted something about this yesterday. Theology for Life is a programme of theological study run by the St Padans Institute for the Church in Wales and validated by the University of Wales Trinity St David. And it can be followed to certificate level, two years, diploma, four years, or degree, six years level. Or it can be studied without submitting any written work at all. Um, but of course, you don't get the qualification at the end of it. If you're interested in finding out more, there is going to be a taster session this evening. But you'll have to leave a message for me now today, and then I'll be able to send you the Zoom link. And we are planning to set up a local group in this area beginning in September. So if you're interested, do please let me know. Pop Benzi Thichi Gid, every blessing to you all.